I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on reading information from the graphs. We will now consider speed and time graph. Here is a velocity versus time graph which we are going to analyze and answer the given questions. Before we begin, it's important to note that acceleration is gradient or slope of speed time graph. So at any point, if I have to find acceleration, I need to find rate of change of velocity with time, right? So we could also write acceleration A as equal to rate of change of velocity with time, right? So that is kind of important to understand. Acceleration can be positive or negative. For example, here we have a slope which is going upwards, it will be positive, on this side will be negative. It could be zero also. Now, distance traveled is area under the speed and time graph. So if you are given speed and time or velocity and time graph, you can always find distance traveled by calculating the area. Now, to calculate the area, you can add area of triangles with rectangle or you could find area of a trapezoid. So in this case, either of these formulas can be used. Now the question for you is, find the acceleration at t equals to 5 seconds. This is with respect to the diagram given to us. Velocity is in meters per second, time is in seconds. So find acceleration at t equals to 5 seconds and b is find total distance traveled. That means from 0 to 8 seconds, correct? And the third question here is part C, find the average velocity for the whole journey. So let's begin answering them. As far as the acceleration is concerned, part A, we know acceleration A at t equals to 5 is equal to, so here at 5, what is the slope? At 5, we see that the curve is horizontal, right? So the slope here is horizontal. So horizontal means zero, right? So there is no rate of change of velocity here. So it is equal to zero. Units would be meters per second square, right? So that becomes the answer. Now let's do part B, which is find total distance traveled. Now total distance traveled will be area under this velocity time graph. So we need to calculate the area. So if you know the formula for trapezoid, that would be better to use. Otherwise, you could use some of these two triangles and the rectangle to find the area. Is that clear to you? So I'm just giving you time to calculate and then you should check with my solution. So it is area under the curve, right? which is Vt graph. So this is the trapezoid where the one side is is 3 seconds, 1, 2, 3. So this is 3 seconds, correct? The other side here is 8 seconds. So the formula of area under this curve is equals to some of these two sides. Normally we write A plus B times the height, right, so this height. Now this height is 30 meters per second, right, times the height over 2, correct. Substituting these values, what do we get? 3 plus 8. Now this unit 3 plus 8 is better to write it in seconds, so this is seconds. As far as height is concerned, it is 30 the units are meters per second, correct? And we are going to divide this by 2. So units also, you can see that seconds and seconds cancel. So you get units in meters, correct? So let's calculate this value. So we get 3 plus 8 as 11. And 30 divided by 2 is 15, correct? So 11 times 5 is 55. 11 times 11, 1 is 11 adding 5 we get 165 units as you can see is in meters right? so that becomes the distance traveled 
during these eight seconds correct now let's do part c which is find the average velocity for the whole journey now the whole journey whatever we're talking about is basically from uh, t which is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equals to eight right so so the time taken is eight seconds right so average velocity is always equal to total distance over total time so in our case total distance we just calculated which is 165 meters and total time is 8 seconds correct so let's divide so 8 goes 2 times so so it's 16 5 20 point uh, 48 is 8 times 6 then we again get 20 so 8 times 2 and then 5 uh, meters per second right so that becomes the average velocity we could always round this to one decimal place we could write this as 20.7 meters per second is that clear so that is how we could provide the answer Sometimes we also say this answer is to three significant, uh, three significant figures, right? So 20.7 meters per second. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So whenever you are given speed time or velocity time, we could have this one the same thing, or velocity time, right? In that case, Acceleration is the gradient of the or the slope uh, of this curve and distance is area under the curve that helps to find the answers. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.